Hello my friend, how are you today? Today we take a look at the work and home life of egotistical Rob Petrie, the lead writer of a comedy slash effects show produced in Manhattan. In the Dick Van Dyke show the audience is given an inside look at how a TV show like The Alan Brady Show is written and produced. We will see together how the characters in the Dick Van Dyke show have changed over the years. Let's go! For many years before this show premiered, you would always hear about dad being at work, but you would never hear what kind of work he did. This was the first show where you got to see the main character interact with his co-workers as well as his family at home. This show is just as funny today as it was when it first premiered in 1961. Robert Rob Simpson Petrie is played by Dick Van Dyke. Hi, I'm uh, Dick Van Dyke. Yes, right. I used to, you may remember I used to sing. He is now 98 years old. Since we're married, you like it? I can't wait to meet little Roberto or Robert Jr. <laughs> you mean Laura or Lawrence Jr. Laura Petrietto is played by Mary Tyler Moore, who is Rob's wife. As a 17-year-old dancer in the United Service Organizations, she met and married Rob. Then, she became a stay-at-home mom. In early season one episodes, Rob and others call her Lori numerous times, as opposed to Laura, which became his usual name for her. About 60 actresses auditioned for the part before Moore was signed. Moore later wrote that she almost skipped the audition. What do you think of Laura Petrietto? But they're not chicks, they're ducks. Well, it's the same thing. It is not. They got flat noses. <laughs> Even if they had square noses. Maurice Buddy Sorrell, Buddy is an energetic and at times sarcastic human joke machine and one of the comedy writers. Amsterdam was recommended for the role by Rose Marie as soon as she had signed on to the series. Buddy is constantly making fun of Mel Cooley, the show's producer, for being bald and dull. He makes frequent jokes about his marriage to his wife, former showgirl Fiona Pickles Conway Sorrell, who is a terrible cook. That's a joke. <laughs> no, he did not. He lost his eye, but he found a guy who made him a perfect glass eye. Buddy plays the cello, which he sometimes incorporates into his comedy routines, and owns a large German shepherd named Larry. Buddy made a guest appearance on the Danny Thomas Show episode, The Woman Behind the Jokes, that aired October 21st, 1963. Sally Rogers is played by actress Rose Marie. Sally is another of the comedy writers and the designated typist who is always on the lookout for a husband. The character was loosely based on Selma Diamond and Lucille Collin, both writers for your show of shows. She never drinks and quotes frequently from her Aunt Agnes in Cleveland. She has an on-again slash off-again relationship with her boyfriend Herman Glimpshire, who seems to be too much of a mama's boy to get married. I worked with him for five years on the Dick Van Dyke show. He was a wonderful little actor. She frequently scares men off with her sense of humor and strong personality. Do you want to be Sally Rogers' husband? Your middle name isn't really Rosebud. Yes, it is. My birth certificate says it's Rosebud. Yes, it does, but do you know why? Richard Richie Rosebud Petrie, Rob and Laura's son. His middle name is an acronym for Robert Oscar Sam Edward Benjamin Ulysses David, all the names suggested by members of Rob and Laura's families in the episode. Richard Richie Rosebud Petrie is played by Larry Matthews. He was born in 1955 in Burbank, California. So that kind of sucked. But at least I get this award, which is really nice, and I'm really happy to get this award. And after the series ended in 1966, Larry Matthews left acting to pursue a more normal childhood and graduated from the University of California, Los Angeles in 1976. How do you see Richard Richie Rosebud Petrie then and now change? Hello? Shut up, Mel. <laughs> Alan, if you're going to have lunch and get to that meeting, you'd better get going. Shut up. Melvin Mel Cooley Mill is the balding producer of The Alan Brady Show and Alan Brady's brother-in-law. Although Mel can often be an obsequiously sycophantic yes-man to the demanding Brady, he is also shown to be a dedicated, competent producer who takes his responsibilities very seriously. Mel is constantly at odds with Buddy, who often makes insulting comments about Mel's baldness, to which Mel often responds with a simple yuck. Melvin Mel Cooley is played by actor Richard Deacon. What do you think of Melvin Mel Cooley? I'll, uh, I'll let you know, okay? Well, when? Wait, listen, if you don't call me, I'll call you, okay? I was wonderful. I really wonderful. 
Squad. Millie Helper. Millie is the Petri's neighbor and Laura's best friend from their days in the USO. Millie Helper played by actress and Morgan Gilbert. She was born in 1928 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Gilbert was married to writer and producer George Eckstein from 1951 until their divorce in 1966. They had two children together, actress Hallie Todd and acting coach Nora Eckstein. And I got in the elevator with Danny Davis, who played the uh, butler of a nanny, and I'm dressed in white with... Her second marriage, to Guy Raymond, lasted from 1967 until his death in 1997. Gilbert died of pancreatic cancer in Los Angeles on June 14, 2016, aged 87.A and episode of Life in Pieces was dedicated to her memory. You know, if, if you really wanted to make up, you could have walked across the front lawn and rang the door. Jerry Helper. Jerry is the Petri's neighbor, Millie's husband, Rob's best friend and dentist. He is an avid sailor, audiophile, and electronics and recording enthusiast. Jerry Helper character played by actor Jerry Paris. He was born in 1925 in San Francisco, California. It was comic actor and Dick Van Dyke show producer Carl Reiner who gave Jerry his first chance to direct on one of the show's episodes. How inventive. And then I can jump in right in the scene and say, Eileen, listen, I got a better idea. If you put, if you, you, and t you just did this. Yeah. The actor took to it like a duck to water. Highly encouraged, he decided to abandon acting and concentrate solely on behind the camera work. Diagnosed with brain cancer, he died of complications following surgery. He was 61 years young. <laughs> he say what I think he said. He said the Shut up. Yes, sir. We stand in the corner. <laughs> Alan Brady, Alan is the egocentric, demanding, high maintenance, to pay wearing star of the Alan Brady show. Originally an unseen character, then shown only with his back to the camera or only in voice, Brady began to make full face appearances in season 4. Alan Brady is played by Carl Reiner. He was born 1922 in the Bronx, New York. Carl Reiner is a legend of American comedy who achieved great success as a comic actor, a director, producer, and recording artist. Not mention this. Yes, the See? JC in your in your tie. Now Jesus Christ did not wear a tie. We know that. No. He won nine Emmy Awards, three as an actor, four as a writer, and two as a producer. He also won a Grammy Award for his album The Two Thousand Year Old Man, based on his comedy routine with Mel Brooks. Well, if she doesn't, I won't play it. But if she does, it'll uh, be right there for me to have just in but if you, if you don't think that she likes... Stacy Petrie is played by Jerry Van Dyke Rob's brother, played by Dick Van Dyke's real-life brother. Stacy, a quiet, shy man, is prone to episodes of sleepwalking, during which he becomes, literally, the banjo-playing life of the party and calls his brother Rob Burford. He wrote love letters on behalf of his friend, a drummer named James Garner, to a girl named Julie. Went out and, uh, and got him more than the acting end of it, and I wasn't doing an act. but. Almost, we started about the same time. Once Garner lost interest, Stacy continued to write to Julie as Garner because he had fallen in love with her. He confesses the truth, and eventually Julie becomes interested in getting to know him. Welcome to Huda Channel on YouTube, the place where we compile the most famous Hollywood actors in the movies. We are delighted to share with you interesting changes of movie stars from the time they started in the movie until now. With our passion for movies, we hope that our videos will help you understand more about your favorite actors and the movies they have participated in. Let's explore the very interesting changes over time of Hollywood stars with Huda Channel.